California's resource advocacy program forms an essential source of revenue for resources operating in Kaiser's power markets. It's a program that's designed to ensure that the system operator has access to enough capacity to meet the future needs of the power system. The state of California mandates that all load-serving entities, which includes utilities like Southern California Edison, procure enough capacity to meet their forecasted demand for each month of the following year. However, the majority of their resource adequacy capacity typically comes from resources contracted through private agreements. When a private resource agrees to offer resource adequacy to an LSE, it enters into a must-offer obligation. This means that they must constantly offer the agreed capacity into the wholesale market for the entire month that they're contracted for. In return, the LSE pays them for fulfilling their obligation. And, if the resources offer clears, Kaiso pays them at the locational price as well. In 2022, resources in unconstrained areas that offered resource adequacy capacity for the entire year earned an average of $86,000 per megawatt. However, since these resource adequacy agreements are negotiated privately, the amount that individual resources earn can vary. The highest value contracts would have earned over $40,000 more, and this is just for unconstrained parts of California. There are 10 regions on the grid called local capacity areas where transmission capacity can struggle to handle local demand. The value for providing resource adequacy capacity in these regions may be valued even higher. Looking back at our revenue chart, we can see that the highest paying contracts in the Sierra region are worth nearly twice as much as the average contracts in unconstrained regions. On top of this, resources are awarded for how well they stick to their must-offer obligation. To learn more about how performance is awarded and who the different LSEs are, head to the full article now. I'll see you there.